Alrighty, Mr. Clement, uh, you are in some luck today since I actually like your videos and have been a subscriber to you for quite a while, although not with my channel, but with another one. Uh, you've got some bad news indeed, and to show everyone, let me turn down the volume and play it. Uh, basically, uh, for everybody who doesn't know, he goes through, he's got some viruses on computer, tries to go through, run stuff now. And like Firefox, he's getting this message where it's basically asking him to select a program to open it with. Well, this is a fairly uh, common thing I've seen some viruses do. I'm willing to bet that's the issue. Um, to kind of skip ahead a little bit in the player, um, he goes through, he tries opening up a music file. It basically does the same thing, asking him what file to open with, but if he doesn't open with, it works perfectly fine. Uh, if he goes through and tries opening up some control panel options, I think it was somewhere around here. I like the Realtek HD Studio Sound Manager. Um, he gets the message that uh, run DOL, uh, there it is, uh, access denied or cannot be found, something like that. I think it just said. Um, again, notice that was run DOL 32.exe. So this is telling me you most likely have an issue of executable files or a couple possible uh, registry entries that have been changed on you. So I'm going to open up my virtual machine so I have good old Windows XP for you. And what you want to do is go to start, run, regedit. Uh, and then down the side here you can open up all these different folders until you get to a point where it's H key classes root exe file shell open command um, basically every time a program is straight up launched like Firefox uh, it's going to basically send it some extra parameters when you double click it and uh, here are those commands actually percent one basically um, sends it uh, any extra parameters like uh, so to say if you right click on a file a music file that's that percent one and any additional parameters specified like dash s dash r whatever that's that percent star so under exe file shell open command default this is what you should have there if you have anything different change it to this because uh, that's what you should have now being that you're getting this probably on some other things like that um, music file that you were trying to listen to if you go through and take uh, pretty much the same thing uh, but you go all the way up under each key classes root you have a star you shouldn't have any uh, command option under that uh, open with you shouldn't have anything like that uh, you should have things like you know these here but you shouldn't have any specific command uh, to open anything up with that means basically something's hijacked uh, or trying to get in the middle of any files that you're opening up so if you see anything in there uh, similar to what I just showed you because I can't have two registry windows up it's a pain in the rear but um, you have anything like that you want to go ahead and remove that because nothing should be set to always open every single file uh, that's a trick some viruses use and what it sounds like is your AVG took care of that file the infected file uh, but it's also set to basically be the middleman for every time you open everything up uh, another registry key uh, you want to go through and check I'm navigating to it now I'm trying to stay focused because it'll drive me crazy I'm trying to uh, get to it here we go as you see I navigated through all that my computer H key local machine software Microsoft Windows NT current version Windows application initiation DLLs this registry entry by default is empty um, 
if you see something there, chances are it is a virus. Um, there's only a couple things that should legitimately be there. Um, you have AVG, you said. So AVG would be in there. And it would have a file. I think it's AV something. Um, but generally, it will not hurt to go through, right-click, modify, delete the contents of it, hit OK. And that should take care of that. Another registry key for you under when log on. Notify. And this is kind of where it's going to get into the shaky area uh, if you want to try and screw around with this. But here are the ones that should be listed under notify. Uh, take a look at these here, compare them to what you have. And generally, anything else besides these is probably going to be a virus entry. Uh, do not remove these unless you really are confident <laughs> uh, that it is a virus um, because if you go through and delete like schedule or here uh, you're going to find some things aren't going to quite work <laughs> so but try those first two I mentioned before first um, the application initiation DLLs and under the H key classes most likely it's going to be the exe file uh, option itself browse down each key classes root exe file shell open command that's what it should be you see anything different uh, chances are your virus has conveniently jacked up your registry entry so that's it and I am looking forward to your sonic LPs because they are quite entertaining. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. If this doesn't work, Mr. Clint, please message. I'll be glad to help you out. Take care.